Hi, in this video I will show you how to create circular progress bar entirely in material and later use it in a widget UI or on the mesh. So let's get started. So first let's prepare where we apply. I will add plane. So I will create two versions of material. One to apply on a static mesh like this plane and another version is for widget. So let's create material. And straight away material instance. We can drag and drop it on the plane. And straight away I will create material parameter collection with which I will control progress. If you have already created material parameter collection, you can just basically add this parameter inside of yours. And inside of it, I will just create progress parameter. I will keep it on a zero. Save. And let's open our material. I will set material to translucent and unlit. But you can easily work with lit as well. So it's up to you. And then difference between this one for the static mesh and widget is just only that you will need to use user interface in here. So let's now add plane here for the preview. And let's first create progress bar. So for that I need radial gradient and I need two of them. If I will preview, it's basically a circle. So basically then I will use another one to subtract and then how we will create thickness. If we will preview that because their size is identical, so that's why we're getting nothing. So this will be our main circle. And this will be our inner circle. So if both again sizes will be same, or inner circle will be larger, so of course again everything will disappear, so keep that in mind. Then you see we have a lot of softness. This controlled by density. We can use the same parameter for both. And if this parameter will be only zero, you see nothing basically works. By increasing number, we're getting more and more sharper circular line. I will set something like 160. We can control inner circle and we can control our outer circle so this one is done let's create a root node now let's create radial gradient which will actually control our feeling of that progress bar. We'll grab texture coordinates. In the left top corner, you see it's black. And on the bottom right corner, it's really bright. It's because UV starts in the left top corner. So basically our zero zero is there and one one is there. We need to get center. So we need this zero zero to be in the center of UVs. If we subtract 0 0.5, so now this is our center. But in my case, I want it to be inverted. So instead of subtracting 0 0.5 from UVs, I will subtract UVs from 0 0.5. So now you see black was here, now it's appeared here. Now I want breakout flow 2, because we have in UVs only flow 2. And I need arc tangent too fast. If we will preview, so this is what we're getting. So on the bottom we have super sharp, but we will remove that. And on the top we have this gradient, and we can control that smoothness of the gradient with division. The smaller the number, you see it's really sharp there. Say 10, you see. So I will use this number. And then we will use frac node. 
And as I said, we removed the bottom, and now we have only this. Now, I will add parameter as a progress, and then use floor. So again, what floor does, if number, let's say, will be like 0 0.5, it will still round it to 0. When it will be 1, it will be 1. So if I will start previewing that, our progress now in 0, but look, if I will set it to 0 0.1, we see nice progress and super sharp. And up to 1. In 1, it will be fully white, 0 is black. So this is done. Again, let's create a root node. Now we can combine that. Let's create LERP. Let's add two colors. So one will be for the background and area which not filled yet. And second one for the, our progress filling. So let's name it. Something darker. And because it's a parameter in material instance, then we can edit that. And this one. Progress color. And into emissive. You can make progress itself to glow. The glow won't work in a widget UI, only on a static mesh, because in a static mesh we're using emissive color, so then increasing intensity will glow. But in a widget we don't have uh, emissive color, so it will be just normal color, not glowing. And you can add multiplication and parameter as intensity. Or inside of the color, if you choose what color you want, so for example, I choose this one. And then in V, if you will increase number, this will be intensity. So for example, if I will set 50 and OK, you see it glows already here in preview. So now we need our alpha. Let's create multiply and saturate just to keep it between 0 and 1. And we just need to multiply both of these like that. So now we have our background color and our progress is on zero. If I will set it to 0 0.1, we start to see our progress filling. So 0 0.5, 0 0.7, 1, it's full circle. If we'll save and preview that on our plane, so we have that as well. It depends on your post-processing, so maybe exposure in this level is pretty low, so that's why it's not glowing here while it's glowing here. So we can select our material instance, and in progress color we can increase that, let's say maybe 500, maybe even higher. So it starts glowing. And we already might have everything we need, so we have progress. Actually our plane is upside down. We have our progress bar, then we have our inner radius, and outer radius we can control the here, and as well we have sharpness. Now, if you want to remove background and keep only progress bar, we can come here from progress bar. We again, we need saturate, just in case that it's between 0 and 1, and plug that into opacity. Now we'll have it like that. And lowering progress bar, so then we'll see that second color, which called background color. I believe this one on half, so we can see easier everything. So actually, now instead of this scalar parameter, I will drag and drop our MPC file. Let's increase that. So our MPC file, and then in here we have already progress, and we can connect it to the add. Now we can control it directly from that. And in my previous videos about ranking and widget, I was already covering how we can control MPC through the sequencer, and then how we can control sequencer through the verse. So I will keep that as well on 0.5. So this one is works already on the mesh, 
if you will want with a widget just use user interface you see and it basically changes to this and as i said we don't have a missive here we have just final color which is not glowing if i will save that let's create widget user widget let's open it let's add canvas and then image I will anchor it in the center. If you don't fully understand what I'm doing, please watch my tutorial about widget UI. I was explaining there about alignments, about anchors. And now we can drag and drop our material instance in here. And now in the widget, we can control the circular progress bar. If you want this continuous circular progress bar, this is done. So I will now move into segmentation of the progress bar. I will change this from the user interface to surface. So now for the segmentation, I want to separate this add and floor and this parameter. Now let's create multiply. Then I need my circle gradient. And parameter this will be how many segments we want so for now maybe I will set 12 now we need floor and divide it we'll preview now so you see we now made it into equal sections and each section goes from the pitch black into like brighter and brighter and then white now if I will change, for example, 10, 5, see we're changing the sections. So now I want our this progress bar controlled in here. Why I'm controlling it in here? Because this segmentation, it actually will work with our progress. So our progress won't be smooth. If it would be like smooth, then it would stop in the center, let's say, of segment, but not fully filling it. What I want is that it's every time jumping to next segment, it fully covers that. So I will just show in a second. Now, for example, if I will preview that, we have our progress. I'm moving it smoothly, but you see it's basically jumping from one to another segment. So this one is done. So this will be for the progress mask. Now, from this segmentations, we need to actually create mask, which will subtract the segments and divide this all progress bar. So we need subtract, and then we need floor. Let's move it up a little bit. If I will preview now, see how it looks. Now, on one side of this line, we have smooth gradient. On another, it's straight away white. What I want is gradient on both sides. So we can do one minus. So basically invert. And then we'll use main node. Let's preview. And now we have smooth gradient on both sides. Now we'll use step. Segments width. If I will preview it now. Basically it looks like that. So before it was smooth gradient, but it was on the both sides. That's why I wanted it on the both sides. So now we can control with, with that and it's really sharp. If you want edges of these lines to be smooth, then you need smooth step instead of this step. So you will plug this into value and then you will play with mean and max. Something 0. Point, maybe 0. 0.4. You see, so we have smooth and now closer minimum will go to 0. 0.4. 
let's say 0 0.39, it will be sharp. But further away, see, it's basically smoother. So you can play with these values to make smooth, but just normal step with sharp cuts, it's fine for me. Okay, so that one is done as well. Segmentations. And we're actually done. Just needs to combine everything together. So in here, we need to remove that because that circular gradient was already inputted here. So for this one, we need our progress mask. And in here, I will add another multiply. And I will multiply progress bar with our segmentations. And plug that into saturate. And here we go, we have our the segments. And now, this is what I meant. This progress bar, it never stops somewhere on the middle. It always or off or on whole segment. So if you will animate your progress bar from 0 to 1, you see it will work as normal progress bar. It's just only with these segments. I will show everything so you can compare if you have any issues. So this is again our progress bar. This is our circular gradient. Then we're feeding this gradient into here. And then our segmentation. And then we're combining everything in here. Now, if I will look back in the level, we can control again segments from material instance. Radius we already controlled. I showed that. Sharpness as well. So this is our segments. And make sure that you will put round number, so full number, like 10, 11, 12. Don't put, let's say, 10 and a half. You see, then your segments won't be even. Like 2. Three, four and more, 100, up to you. And then we have segment size. And we can control our progress bar from material parameter creation, and you can animate that with sequencer. Now back in our widget, my widget is erroring because I changed type of the material so again to surface. So again, if you want to use this with widget, change this back to user interface. And now back in our widget, we have it here. And it will work exactly the same as for example my previous video with widget where I had just linear progress bar, because it's again it works from zero to one. I hope you enjoyed this video and it provided you with required information and you will make nice looking circular progress bars in future. We have now UFN Creators Discord community, so feel free to join us. You can find a link in the description or in the channel header. I hope you found this video helpful and if you're interested in learning more, you can subscribe and click on the bell to not miss my future videos. If you enjoyed this video, please click a like button and feel free to leave a comment. See you soon.